What's up guys, welcome back to more Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. So, last episode, what I did is, um, over here, there is a Mooshroom Island, and I went and visited it. I set up a minecart system, so there's a bridge with a, a rail system right here. Looks pretty good, I'm proud of it. So I set up this rail system, and over here you can see it. I created a little tent. Uh, let's travel over here. I created a little tent, and then there's also a pen with some mushrooms in it. I'm thinking about taking one back to my base, since it's a free infinite food source. What you can do is, um, you can milk them with a bowl, and then you get mushroom stew. So it's an infinite food source, free. I might take one back home. And so I have two plans for what I want to do this episode. Uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to create a gravel path that leads to this. Um, over by my house I have paths that lead to the spider grinder, to the storage, to the bridge. I just have these nice looking gravel paths and I want to add one that leads over here. It might be a little bit tricky since the terrain is hilly, but I'm sure I could work out something. Aha, this is cool. So if you go to the end of the path here and then you go off to the side, it leads straight to the uh, the minecart system. But I'm gonna need some actual gravel itself, so I'm gonna go down into the mines and get some. You know, I totally forgot to tell you what the other idea I have for this episode is. I want to set up an Enderman scouting post. I want to go to the desert, and I want to scout for Enderman. I'm gonna build a little tower out of stone bricks, um, and that will be an Enderman scouting station. I might want to kill the dragon soon, it would be fun, so uh, building that would be a good way to get the ender pearls. A good side effect of mining all this gravel is that I get a bunch of flint. The ender dragon fight requires of course a lot of arrows, and so getting flint uh, means that I can get more arrows. There we have it, three stacks of gravel, so I'm gonna head on up back to the surface. Before I get started on that path, I'm going to need to do a quick inventory dump. It has way too much stuff in it. Perfect, with more inventory space, I'm ready to get started. My iron axe just broke, cutting down a tree, so I'm going to go and replace it with a diamond one. I could totally get away with just using an iron one, but the thing is, is that I'm not a man that cares so much. I just made a pickaxe. Well, that sucks. Oh, at least I have a backup once this one breaks, but it might be a while, it has unbreaking three. What I could do to get those diamonds back is I could just like exit without saving, but that's kind of lame and I've already made great progress on the path, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to stop the path here. I tried making it go down this uh, thing, but it just didn't work. It was too steep. Just put in a sign that says spider grinder and home, and you know what? I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good, but I could sure use some lights, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I got some lights placed in. That's pretty good. Alright, now it's time to work on that Enderman tower thingy. First, though, I am going to need to smelt down some cobblestone for stone, so I can make some more stone bricks. There are two good locations to build it. There is the desert in the bottom right, which my arrow is pointing at, and the one in the bottom left. The bottom left is bigger, and so as a result, I'll be able to see more Endermen from afar, but it's also a lot further away, so it's a bit of a trade-off. I'll have, to, I'll have to consider both of them. Ooh, something I like about this path is as you're walking down it, you can see the Mushroom Island. That's pretty nice. Genuine wondering, I'm only over here because uh, I want to make some finishing touches here. I forgot to put torches here a while ago, so I can do this while the uh, stone bricks are finishing up. And there we go got more stone so I can make stone bricks. So I've decided I'm just gonna go to the desert over here. It's a lot closer and I figure it's big enough for my purposes. I'm not gonna bother making a path to this thing because it would just take way too much gravel and I don't know. It would be kind of fun to have an isolated little outpost here. I want to build this thing in like the center of it as to give me maximum viewing capacity for any Enderman nearby. Right here seems like a pretty great spot. I'll build it right here. You know what's nice? If it turns nighttime, it doesn't actually really matter because I want it to be nighttime so I can hunt for Enderman. 
lo and behold, it actually is turning nighttime, so I think I can finish it before it's like, you know, fully pitch black. And it's almost done. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough stone bricks to finish it. I thought I did, but I don't. You know, I'm sitting here at the top of this tower, and I've just kind of realized that this isn't really needed. Oh, and behold, there's an Enderman over there. I'm gonna go and take it out. Fight me, man. I do not know where it went. It just teleported away, and now it's gone. Oh, hi, there it is. No pearl, unfortunately. You know what, I guess one good thing about it is that it'll stop, uh, mobs from reaching me. Of course they can climb it, but I could add, like, a fence gate or something. There's another Enderman over there. Fight me, nerd. And I got a pearl from it. Excellent. Ah, rats, there are mobs surrounding the tower. Those mobs that were around my tower, they're no longer with us. Don't worry about them. Another Enderman, that was fast. Oh, there are two. One over there and one over here. Ah, rats. Wow, three Endermen. Okay, no pearl. Let's take care of this one. Another pearl. That's great. And then I hope that other one is still over here. I hope it didn't despawn or something. Uh, I don't know what happened to it, but I'll just return to the tower. What I should do is I should create a pit of water that I can jump into. That would be a faster way of getting down. And one more pearl. That's nice. Three pearls on the first day. That's actually really good. This tower is actually more useful than I thought. It does give a good coverage of the land. Like, I can't see behind that hill over there, but it's a pretty small area that I can't see. The rest of it I can see great. It's starting to turn daytime, and I've not seen another Enderman. But regardless, three pearls in one night, that's actually really good. And I think it's time to go. It's more light than night, so it's time to leave. And so anyways, that's that. That's the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm actually not going to stop playing, though. I'm going to do a few things off camera. Uh, during the day, I'm going to be at the spider grinder. Um, you know, just grinding away spiders for XP, because I want to enchant some stuff, namely this diamond shovel, but then also the other diamond pickaxe that I have there. And then during the night time, I'm going to spend it over off at the tower looking for Endermen. So I'm going to be productive uh, even off camera. It's not the most, neither thing is the most exciting thing to watch, so I figure, you know, no one exactly would be um, devastated by the fact that they're not going to watch me kill spiders. So anyways, that's going to be it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.